Essentially, we're talking about a supermarket where you can go in with a handful of cash and come out empty-handed with no money and no food. My husband and I stumbled across this massive interesting looking store called Starberry and decided to go in and check it out. Turns out it is a store full of large claw machines. But instead of plushies, these claw machines are filled with packaged supermarket food, drinks, and snacks. It's a claw machine supermarket. The way that claw machines work is you exchange your dollar bills for 10 NT coins. Each attempt at a claw machine costs 10 NT. So if you're able to cash the item successfully at your first attempt, then you get to have the item for just 10 NT. Let's see how people do at catching these items at the claw machines. Well, it seems quite difficult to get your food from this grocery store. They even have these personnel around the store adjusting the positions of these items in the machine to make sure that it's not too easy for the customers to catch a bunch at once. Essentially, we're talking about a supermarket where you can go in with a handful of cash and come out empty-handed with no money and no food. Alternatively, if you find it too difficult to cash the item but you really want it, you can buy the item outright at their listed price and it will guarantee a successful catch. But their listed price is usually much higher than what you would normally pay for the item. Let's look at a guaranteed price for a can of Coke. 90 NT is too much for a can of Coke. You can get them for 20 NT at the 7-Eleven across the street. So the question is, who in their right mind would come here to shop? when there is literally a supermarket on the same block. Turns out, a lot of people. So we decided to give it a try as well. My husband is a natural at this, so if he can't catch anything, then there's definitely something wrong with the machines. After all, it is not impossible to catch something. Okay. 